safe and well and enjoying your summer holidays. Now we at Molesworth are very sad that we can't have our holiday Bible club this year again like we normally would. But God is good and we're very glad that we can still post our videos online for you to watch at home. So we would love you to join us for these three Saturdays in August on our YouTube channel where we will be posting videos learning lots about God through Bible stories, songs and memory verses. We'll be learning lots about how God can use people of all ages, including boys and girls, to do very special things for him. So before you sit back and relax to listen, we're going to pray. And in Molesworth, we have a little prayer drill that we like to do called the ABCs. And this helps to take away any distractions that might be around us and helps us to focus completely on God as we talk to him. So if you would like to, you can join me as I say our prayer drill. A, arms folded. B, heads bowed. C, eyes closed. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this another new day that you have blessed us with. Thank you for all the boys and girls, mummies and daddies watching Holiday Bible Club at home. We pray that you would take away any distractions so that we would be completely focused on you and what you have to teach us through your word. Thank you for the opportunity to learn more about you and how we can live each day for you and serve you. We pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. The Story of David and Goliath This is David, a shepherd boy who lived in Bethlehem. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a young boy. But he would have to wait a very long time until that promise would come true. Another king of Israel ruled at that time named Saul. He led the armies of Israel. But one day Saul was with his army in a valley. And on the other side of the valley waited the Philistines, Saul's enemy and the enemy of Israel. They were ready to fight. The Philistines had a giant warrior named Goliath. He challenged the Israelites and Goliath spoke badly of God and his people. He shouted and teased them, choose one man to fight me. The Israelites and King Saul were very afraid. Meanwhile, David's father had sent David with some food for his brothers who were in the army and for their captain. David could hear Goliath's taunts and shouts and when the Israelites actually saw Goliath, they ran away in fright. David asked, who is this Philistine anyway, that he is allowed to defy the armies of the living God? David's questions were reported to King Saul, and the king sent for David. David said, don't worry, I will fight this Philistine. Saul said, but you couldn't win, you're only a young boy. David said, 
I have taken care of my father's sheep and rescued them from lions and bears. And then he stated, the Lord who rescued me from the claws of those lions and bears will rescue me from this giant. Saul said, well, all right, and may the Lord be with you. David went and picked five smooth stones from the river. Then only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started into the valley to meet Goliath. When Goliath saw David coming, he sneered at him and yelled awful things. But David said, you would come to me with a sword, spear and javelin, and I come to you in the name of the Lord. Goliath moved closer to attack, but David moved quickly to meet him. He hurled a stone from his sling and smack hit Goliath in the forehead. So Goliath stumbled and fell to the ground. David triumphed over the Philistines with only a sling and a stone, but more importantly, he knew the power of God and trusted that God would look after him in his battle. So this story is a story of contrasts. Goliath, an experienced warrior, David was a shepherd. Goliath was huge, David was just small. The giant wore armour, the boy David did not. The giant carried a sword and spear to protect him, the boy only a sling and five stones, but he had God protecting him. Goliath scoffed at God, but David trusted God with all his heart. David had hero's courage, but we need to remember it was God who enabled him to overcome Goliath. This is the same God who is with us today. When we trust God, God can enable us to overcome our giants. And you know, giants in our lives are just situations where we might be afraid or finding things tough. We all face times like that. And yes, we have our parents and true friends to be able to help us, but God is always there too. And if we trust him in our hearts, he will always stay with us no matter what. Thank you. Hi everyone, so today the verse I want to share with you is found in God's Word the Bible in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 and it reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and what I essentially love about this verse is it's God basically saying that he can turn our I can't into an I can and it reminds us that we're never alone in anything and all that we do, God is with us and he will strengthen us to be able to get the task done or to be able to survive whatever life throws at us and you know amidst a pandemic I think you know, when things are so uncertain and we're limited as to what we can actually plan ahead for the future it's a beautiful reminder that God will be with us and he'll strengthen us to be able to get through every single day every single week every single month year upon year God is with us throughout the seasons as a Christian and I am really thankful for that and you know if you're not a Christian today then God's support and his strength and his guidance are waiting for you too and all you need to do is just stop saying no to his love and to come with a genuine and a sincere heart and ask for his help and ask for forgiveness of your sins and God promises to be with you through the thick and thin, the rough and the smooth, the difficult and the easy parts of life and to have the Lord enduring and guiding and strengthening you in all those parts is a real blessing and you know if you don't have a Bible today then just google Philippians 4 verse 13 and you'll be able to read God's word for yourself. So thank you so much everybody for listening. I hope you have a good day and God bless.